Thank you, Mitchell Trubisky, the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> like, I wanted to see my guy Maserati Mitch play well last night, and he didn't. Uh, that said, by New England finding a way to foolishly win that football game, Carolina has to go two and three their last five, and New England has to go winless for the Bears not to pick numero uno, which lays out the red carpet for our guy Ryan Poles to be able to say, mm, I'm going to keep Justin, I'm going to keep Matt, I'm going to keep Luke, and I'm going to take a left tackle. I'm going to take, mm -hmm. if he comes back, it goes to the draft and that stays in college, Marvin Harrison, or I'm going to trade that pick for another haul and maybe get the number one pick again next year when I flee somebody. But he, the world is now his oyster with a number one pick. The other pick from the Bears, we'll find out. They get a game with Detroit on Sunday. But you know what, Hoodie? I drove down here this morning, and I was looking at the marquee right across the street from our window. I'm looking at it right now. Chicago mm -hmm. Theater with the big Chicago on it. Twas the night before by Cirque du Soleil's playing there right now. And I looked at it, and I walked outside. I, honest to God, you can ask Jay and Jay Moore. I walked outside before you got ready to roll. And mm -hmm. I looked down State Street both ways, and I went, State Street, that great street, this awesome city. This is where I grew up. I will die a Chicagoan. If Shohei Otani doesn't want our hundreds of millions of dollars, and he's, I don't know about Chicago. I keep hearing it might be a little too intense, and I want to just fly in the F off. I hope Jed comes out and says, I don't want you. The Bears, go out and beat some lion ass. You got the number one pick. Let's mm -hmm. see what you've done, where you've, uh, what you've accomplished, where you've actually developed to at this point in the season. Zach Levine, soft. Get out. Don't want you here. Not a winning ball player. All this was going through my head knowing the 2024 NFL draft is now open. Chicago is on the clock. That's where yes. we're going to be. That's exactly right. And as John Lester once said, Sometimes you get tired of your blank being knocked in the dirt. Yeah. If you're the Chicago Bears, maybe you feel like you're tired of your your um, your blank being knocked in the dirt. And so what I'm saying is looking at the last game, and I know that we can't necessarily equate the last time the Bears took on the Lions to this game on Sunday, but why not? Why can't the Bears be able to say, we got your number? Why We got your number, and we're going to play hard. Yeah. Hey, go out and – Say, guess what, folks? We've turned the corner here. Mm -hmm. We, yes, we need more talent. Yes, we need to get a good center in here. Yes, we need more pressure on the edge. Uh, okay, all of it. But guess what? You can beat the Lions on Sunday. You now have the number one pick. So wherever yours falls, it is what it is. It is what it is. I can't sit down on the couch with my son on Sunday and going, Please blow the Bears out. Please blow the Bears out. No, I can't do that. It's, I, right. I said this to you a few weeks ago. If it's week 16, week 17, whatever, okay. If, if that's what it's going to take, if we're that's where we're at. But we're not at that position. They're playing better football. They're not great offensively. I'm not going to delude anybody into thinking that. But their defense is getting better. Their old line's getting better. So let's go out and let's see if we can take a few steps here knowing – the world is our oyster. You know, the, the Panthers, they'd have to go two and three to be able to even be where the Bears are right now this morning. They're not going to be there. The Bears will have the number one pick. But you know what it's like, Cap? It's kind of like getting that lottery ticket and having the winning lottery ticket and say, okay, we finally won after all those scratch-off tickets, after all those long lines at the gas station or at the convenience store, we finally got the number. We finally got the money. Okay, now what do we do with it? <laughs> All those dreams, right, of being able to get that money, and you finally have it. The Bears, once again, will have the number one pick. And we can rejoice in that because this would not be a winning season as we can figure out right, right now with the Bears. I don't think it's going to be a winning season. But you get the number one pick, and the question is, okay, we got that winning lottery ticket, hun. <sighs> now what do we do with it? And I think that's the question that we all have as Bears fans. What are the Bears going to do with it? Yeah. Do they – Look, they're going to have every opportunity to take the number one quarterback on the board if that's what they choose to do. Look, 
if Justin's the guy, then show us over the last five weeks. And if that's the case, and you want to keep Eberflus, and you want to keep Getze, and you want to keep the band together, and you're going to ride with Justin, you're going to pick up the fifth-year option, let's go. Okay. Yeah. I, look, I, I don't make those decisions. I can't change it. I just want them to win. By hook or by crook, I want them to win and be a really good team so that every Monday, wow, it, it's a shock if they lose. And that hoodie and I are coming in for another victory Monday. That's what we all want. This great city deserves a winning football team. Yes. They deserve winning sports. Come on, yes. man. This is Chicago, Illinois, freaking Noy. Yes. I'm tired of looking at this great marquee going, Chicago, State Street. Everybody loves Chicago. Oh, we're this great fan base. And then we suck. Yes, well, yes. I got fired. I was texting with Tom Dreesen yesterday. He used, oh, to okay. he used to open for Sinatra. <laughs> and I'm like, you know what? This guy sang about our town. Harvey's My own. kind of town. Chicago Harvey. is. Yes. Let Yes, Harvey's own. Let's yeah. freaking go. Yes. Let's go. Now. Now, what do you do with that number one pick? That's the big question that's on my mind because we kind of knew that it was going to roll that way, but then watching Maserati Mitch and the Steelers and the Patriots somehow, some way winning that ball game, the Panthers are trying to make sure that they solidify a draft pick of some sort. They're, they're not a very good football team. I just think that as much as you and many others admire how the Lions were built, not necessarily about what's happening now, Cap, as far as how they were built because they, can't, they would not garner the success – without being able to go through the growing pains, the doldrums of, um, you know, going through the draft and free agency. I want the Bears to be able to be the same, right? The, it, we can look back, hopefully, at one point on the show and we can say, boy, look how bad the Bears were post Nagy, how they built it through the draft and free agency, doing it well with Ryan Poles and now a perennial playoff team. And I always tell you, for me as a fan, it's about the Super Bowl because I want this generation to experience what you and I experienced as far as what it's like when the Bears take all the headlines and they're the Super Bowl champions and they are the cock of the walk. Everyone's talking about them in a winning sense, right? Mm -hmm. Well, we, You and I lived that through the Dicker years. I want this generation to be able to experience that. But you can't get there unless you are smart with free agency in the draft, find the quarterback, and then keep it moving. Perennial playoff team, hopefully to the Super Bowl. That's what I want to see at least one more time in my lifetime.